Hey, all you beautiful people. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Today's video is going to be on uh, my skillet. Today's video is gonna be my second attempt at a cut crease look. This is the final result that I got. I'm actually really loving it. If you wanna see more makeup tutorials, definitely let me know. So if you're interested in getting this look and seeing how I got it, just keep on watching. First color I'm gonna go in is actually in the next palette, the Happy Birthday palette. Go right in this crease and we're gonna drop it down like a V. See, so it's giving already that V effect and the hot point, like a cat eye. Orange just reminds me of fall, pumpkins. I just, I feel fall when I look at this orange and it's very, very pigmented. So we're gonna go right in the crease. This I want specifically to be the crease shade and then kind of the transition shade. You can see it's already starting to blend out with the brown automatically. Automatically forms this nice cat V shape without you having to do anything first. It's freaking amazing. And all you do is down and around, around the eye. Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. By the way, you like the background? It's Christmas time. And some random cherries. I'm going to go in this shade right here just a little bit and I want to deepen up this look with this nice red color just right in this angle like if you're doing a wing liner yes I love it uh, orange brown red mm -hmm. and now my favorite 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 color rose gold put it all over the lid oh and call it a day that's it, that's all you have to do. All right, so I'm gonna take a blending brush and start blending this. The whole perfect main thing to do when you're applying different eyeshadows, blending. Blending, 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 blending. Like, if you have to sit there for a good five minutes on straight blending the two colors into one, do it. Cause you are going to look so good and have such a perfect finish once you're done i know like especially if you're in a rush you're like oh my god i can't blend it it looks good enough like no take a little bit extra time to blend this out because i am pretty sure you saw how harsh that orange was i'm still trying out our cat brown d concealer i'm going to take this on a flat brush and try our cut crease which I have not done in such a long time because I'm like, I'm so afraid to do tricks and I shouldn't. That's stuff I should practice, not just the basics. So now I'm going to put the rose gold all over the lid and then I'm going to put a wing liner. And let's see if I did it. Rose gold color right here. In a man eater tart. This is my favorite eyeliner out of all the ones I've tried. This is the only one I have now. But this is my favorite. It's just beautiful. As I say all the time, juicy. Go ahead and go back in the concealer. Since I don't have a makeup wipe on me. Because you can see how it is kind of dirty here. I'm not too sure if I even did this way. Right. This looks kind of weird. Does it look weird? I think it looks weird. Oh, I did it right. 
Listen, this is exactly why cut crease try because I don't even know if I'm doing it right. All right, let that dry. I'm gonna go into Tarte Camera Lights Lashes. I've been using this one a lot, testing it out, and it is really good. It does give me some volume. I'm going to zoom through the face. I went ahead and finished this eye right here. How do you think? I think I did a lot better. I'm really, really excited. Like This is a kind of different look than uh, the usual. All right, so I'm gonna go into this Clinique jar. It's a sample. It says it's the golden neutral foundation that they have. It's pretty dang liquidy. Now, I can't go in the foundation without using a primer. So let's go into our Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 primer that I got in my last Ipsy bag. It does spray really, really hard. Oh my god, oh my god, no one in my eye. No one in my eye. Oh my god, no one in my eye. Wow, that did burn a little bit. Thank god, it went away. Oof. That was scary. So I'm gonna just pat that in there. Dip my finger. And start putting it all over. Go in the Hula Hula Bronzer. Now the foundation is not bad, it seems a little little patchy like in between my t-zone but it could be the fact that I didn't really put on a nice creamy primer and I just sprayed some area to our Kat Von D concealer we could just give it a little, little dot so any pimples, scars that you want to hide you can go ahead and conceal them. Oh, go. This is the Kat Von D duo. It came with the concealer. So I'm going to take some of this translucent setting powder. I'm gonna put it right on the chin. And I'm gonna put it all over my T-zone just so it doesn't get really it doesn't get oily during the day. My nose tends to get oily during the day, so I'm gonna put the powder right there. It's the NYX Whip Fault 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 It Fault It. It's a cute brown moussey lip. Oh my god, I love it. Just look at that. So this is a cream highlight stick. I just put it right there. No mouth. Right on top of the chin, smoothing it out with my finger. It's so much easier to take away that harsh line and just blend it in. Blend it on the tip of the nose. The highlight, I'm gonna put it on my finger and then dab the inner corners of the eye look. My second attempt at a cut crease look. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment. If you have any suggestions, feel free to comment that down below. There are some affiliate links in the description. Check those out. I do get a small compensation. Thank you in advance. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.